Yesterday, we successfully reinforced the loft and jacked up the roof of the renovation house. Day three, let's go. You ready to do this? The chicken coop is on the mend, and we are feeling hopeful that we are once again headed in the right direction. Look at the wind can put us down. Yeah. <laughs> we have 10 days until drywall starts, and that means we need to hurry and make all the necessary interior renovations, while of course making sure we can carve out some time for fun. I don't know if there's even more bait on that thing left. We swung the thing out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> You're so good, Leon. You're such a good boy. Oh, my bars and girls are so cute. He gave me his head to pet, Mama. He misses me. He's saying we pat his heels. So the first thing I need to do is remove the two by 10 that I used to slide the roof onto the walls. Once those are removed, I'll drop the roof down onto the walls. I'll secure the roof. And now we can just focus on the front and back wall so the chickens get put away tonight. I see gold in the air, in the promises, the streams. I see love in our hearts, the futures in our dreams. It's a tunnel kind of vision, black out my walls involved, and I stray like a hound dog, but I'ma come back when she calls, when she calls, I'll come to her, when she calls, I'll come to her, 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 ears, she loves it, can't get enough of the ear rubbing. Should I get you two some snacks, or are you taking a break? She, I'm, I'm hanging out. She's just chilling, dude. She can leave whenever she wants to, you know? <laughs> what a nice bird, you know? It's Ruth. She's the best. We got rained out yesterday, but today we should finally be able to finish putting the mobile chicken coop back together. We are going to need to, of course, come back through and figure out some different systems or methods to put in place so that the next time one of those unexpected major storms rolls through our area, the coop doesn't get demolished again. But for today, we just want to get it functional again. A couple of studs are up, but everybody's already moving back in. <laughs> It ain't pretty, but it'll do, Josh. I hope. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to look like a chicken coop again. <laughs> a chicken coop that went through a tornado. Yeah, it's a little banged up. It's a little beat, but you know what? No work. It's just a coop, chicken coop, not Taj Mahal. At least the door is usable. I mean, it just might work, girl. It's not as nice. It's not, but it still stands. No deal. It's, it's better than nothing. Yeah. That could be fixed. It's gonna get fixed. It's just got, you know, a little age on it. A little wear and tear. Like the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
That didn't break. That didn't That's break. That's probably one of the most expensive parts of this entire tractor. That's a huge one. Yeah. We went back in their house. I know. So this is it for tonight. The plastic on there, they've got roosts. Everything's locked up. The automatic door works. I mean, we're back in business minus the water. <laughs> we're back in business minus the waterer, which we'll we'll get to that eventually. Good job, guys. A little bit of wind ain't gonna put us down. Yeah. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Yellowwood. Today we're going to be building a sandbox for our daughter Ellie, who is not only going to be putting the sandbox to the test, but the sandbox is also going to be sitting outside in the elements. And that's why we've chosen to use Yellowwood brand products. We know we can trust Yellowwood for long-term protection and durability. It protects against rot, fungal decay, and termite attacks. So I know it's going to last in our backyard. Also really affordable especially for the value that it offers. The wood itself has a light natural color that's beautiful, but can easily be stained or painted if that's something you're interested in. My cut list shows to cut the four by four posts first at seven and three eighths of an inch, and then I need four of them, and then I'll work my way down. When we decided to build a sandbox, we just went to yellowwood.com and downloaded a free DIY project plan. It was super simple. We were able to see our material list, pick up everything we needed, and get started. So I need to cut a two by 10, 68 inches in length, and I need to cut four of them. Yellowwood is the brand for five-star backyards and a long-standing trusted reputation with over 50 years of experience. It's made my last cut on the corner piece. So we're ready to start building. We are. <laughs> so the next step says to take a corner brace, glue it, and secure it in the corner like that. At that point, we can finish up the remaining sides of the sandbox, attach the landscaping fabric, and place the topping boards, and then it's playtime. You can explore a range of free downloadable DIY projects on Yellowwood's website and also find a distributor near you using Yellowwood's dealer locator. Thank you Yellowwood for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the build. With the renovation house now structurally sound, we are finally ready to tackle changes to the interior layout. Everything from flipping the kitchen and downstairs bedroom to closing up existing windows and adding new ones. Day three, let's go. You ready to do this? Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. So this is the 2x6 is here. Um, let's get everything else cleaned out. The 2x6 is going to be for where we're going to fill the windows in. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're back again. This is going to be our third day here and the plan for today is to get the wall opposing the kitchen completely torn down. We're going to get the new bedroom wall framed back here, start closing up some windows, also have to remove some windows, and start framing up a couple of other windows. But first things first, we have a huge mess we need to clean up. You ready to turn that water? Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Cleanup always is a little bit of a downer. It is a downer. You lose all momentum. <laughs> it looks great. It does. But like, you know. Lose all momentum. You come here and start cleaning all the momentum we haven't got here. 
the, the coffee, the coffee high, oh, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. Unfortunate. All right. Motivational comps. We've got to get going. Wait, Josh, you better get us psyched up first. Come on. Got it. Wow, that really made a difference. Did not. <laughs> So just so you guys are caught up on what exactly is going on, initially the plan was to keep that a bedroom, but just to take this wall down and bring the wall out so that we could make the bedroom a little bit larger. However, we've had a bit of a change of heart. I guess just because we love the area so much and it's become such a tourist hotspot, it's become kind of hard for us to let this house go. So rather than selling it, we're planning on having it be an Airbnb. And for that reason, we decided to actually make this an eating area. So put a kitchen table over there and everything rather than have it be a bedroom. So it'll still have three bedrooms, just not four bedrooms. So there's plenty of space for people to come and enjoy, but... It'll be wide open. It's going to be better feel instead of being more closed up. It's going to be one wide open floor plan with a bedroom, bathroom, and everything to open. Yes, plus gonna you're going to have the whole bar right here at the yeah, kitchen to eat at, and then right next to it, you also have a place for a kitchen table. We're going to do a sit and eat eatery, I guess, right? Right sit there, in. yeah. Yeah, like a, like a booth style. We'll leave the decorating to me, okay? He's just here for the demo and, you know. The building, obviously. <laughs> Some of the heavy lifting. <laughs> He's here for the humor. On the back side of the house where the kitchen previously was will now sit a bedroom. What is currently the back door is going to be eliminated and closed off, and we'll be replacing the small window in that room with a large window centered along the back wall. Before we frame this wall, I need to lay out this back side, come down from that header, and then once that's laid out, we're gonna take a chalk line, and we're gonna match up on this side and that side of the wall, and we'll chalk the line, and I'm guessing it's gonna hit this wood floor right here, so we're probably gonna need to cut this wood flooring out so we can actually put the bottom plate down first. Ah, that was close. It's gonna be very close. There's a, there's a very high chance that we're actually not gonna have to cut anything. Looks like our luck's turning around. Oh, we'll have bad luck, you know? As long as you and I come in here and do the work, we don't have bad luck. What about that girl? <laughs> Yep, we gotta cut it. You did a good job filming, I'm not gonna lie. You're doing a great, great job. Are you doing a great job? No. You're doing a fantastic job filming. You're do, you get that from your mind, that's why. <laughs> We got the wall all framed up for the bedroom. Uh, keep in mind, it's not a load-bearing wall. The header coming across, actually a beam going across this way, is load-bearing. It comes down to a beam or a post down in the wall and goes straight down to the floor. So the reason why I'm saying that is we didn't actually put a header going through there because it's actually technically just a, it's a framed up wall, not load-bearing. So we're good to go on that. But today was a successful day. It was. Right? Yeah. We didn't get as much as we wanted to get done today, but we, we had to do a short day today because we have other things happening. Yeah. But the uh, HVAC guy is coming today too. 
Yeah, and we're not far. Like we, I think we have like ten days that we need to get in here. We've got a yes. couple more things to frame up with, like yep. moving windows around and doorways. And then you're going to be doing electrical. If you want to see an electrical video, let us know. We have electrical coming up. We have a plumber fun, fun. <laughs> coming in, getting all of the plumbing done, and then it is game on with drywall. So we have yes, and we're doing insulation. Yes. So we have we have ten days, but actually now that I think about it, that, ten days involves us down here. But then we got a lot going on. Yes. We got a lot going on. We're but busy. it's go time. It's pretty exciting because like we're moving fast. We're about to knock this out. Yeah, we're moving fast. Oh my gosh. I don't know if there's any more bait on that thing left. We swung the thing out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fish on, got a fish. Oh. Woo! Oh, Look at that I big can guy. Can nice. That thing is huge. Look at that beauty. He's a big one. <laughs> you can toss him back in. Woo! Oh, and sandals. 